you may begin your clinical encounter. The very first simulation, I was extremely nervous. You have 14 minutes. Hello, I'm student Dr. Sarah Placic. So the simulation department is very involved in first year and especially second year curriculum. The students are in here by the second year almost every week. About seven days ago. How long has that been going on for? I love the role play of simulations. I like walking into a room, you never know who you're going to get, you don't know what case that you're going to get. So we view our standardized patients as educators. There's a certain level of acting and, and tips and techniques that we use in order for them to portray certain conditions. But we really want them to think of themselves as educators. So they are here to help educate our students and a lot of it is communication and professionalism to make them better doctors when they come out of school. Are you on any medications right now? It sounded interesting to me because uh, I had an opportunity to not only work with medical students, but possibly help shape their careers. You have to act like it's the real deal. Um, you have to engage with your standardized patient. You have to like uncover their needs. And I like filling into that role of a, of a student doctor. I think the key for being a successful standardized patient is to make sure one is always fair. For example, there are some days we have 14 medical students. So I want to be as fair with number 12, 13, and 14 as I was with number 1, 2, and 3. I think that's extremely important. I felt like I grew where I could get the information I needed, I could relate to the patient better, and then I could kind of uncover what they needed to go for as their next steps. And then they have mannequin-based sim, and that incorporates it kind of all together. It's a team-based learning experience. How's the heart rate? The students are excited when they meet Apollo and Lucina, um, but a, bit, a little bit nervous. It takes them a little bit to get into that team dynamic, um, to, to see that, patient, that uh, mannequin as, an, as a patient, but they they really have a true experience with that patient. You can see them starting to get nervous, anxiety going up in the room, coming together as a team. Sometimes there's some sweat in the room, um, but they really get involved with it as if it's a real patient. So all of our encounters are recorded within our standardized patient area and with our, in our simulation, uh, mannequin-based simulation area. Two minutes remain. They watch their video, they see how they're talking, they maybe see levels of awkwardness or nervousness, or maybe they can see when they're not making eye contact with the patient, and it's very self-reflective, and then they can make changes within their communication style. I have seen students come from programs where they did not have this available. So we're able to provide the highest level of technology really that's out there on the market um, for our students. This provides them with a little bit increased fidelity. So they're practicing some variation of patient care, patient contact, communication, task training, full um, embedded simulations. So they really are starting to put it all together where they're taking the, what they're learning in their classroom and what they're learning in anatomy, and they're able to put it together in patient care experiences. And each case study, each month, they just seem to get so much better and so much more knowledgeable in the way they present themselves, their professionalism. It adds a level of realism for the students and they're able to practice certain procedures and certain patient encounters to a level of proficiency so they have muscle memory. And this is going to help them once they get out into seeing real patients that they won't have that level of nervousness behind them. Standardized patients, you may exit in the rooms. I think simulation is going to prepare me so well for life after ICOM. Um, it's given me the tools that I need to really become the doctor that I want to become.